expanding algebraic expressions again. All right, so the, this is example two. They're getting a bit trickier. Uh, I'm just noticing now that I can't quite see all of it. So I might, actually that's fine. We can just take a little bit off the screen there. As long as we can read the question properly, we'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to follow the same process as before, the little arcs that connect the 5 to the 2D and the 3. And this one, we're going to connect the 2 to the D and the negative 1. So you've actually got two sets of arcs. And we're going to um, simplify them separately, or expand them separately, sorry. 5 times 2D is 10D, and 5 times 3 is 15. So we've got to put a plus between that. And then we've got 2 times d, which is 2d, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Alright, so we've just done our expansion. After expanding, we then simplify. So, um, you can only combine what are called like terms. 10d plus 2d is 12d. And these are also like terms, the 15 and the minus 2, because they're just numbers. You can just go 15 minus 2 is 13, so 12d, plus 13 at the end. Alright, let's do question B. Same thing again. Arcs connecting the f to both terms inside the brackets and the negative f by both terms inside the brackets. So f times 5f actually gives you 5f squared. When you multiply the f by an f, you end up with f squared. f times negative 3 is negative 3f. Alright, now we've got negative f times 2f, which becomes negative 2f squared. 2f's make an f squared, and a negative and a 2. Then we've got negative f times negative 7. Now we've got a double negative, so it's a positive, and 7 times f is 7f. So that's our first step. I keep drawing this random line in. Okay, so we can only combine like terms. 5f squared and negative 2f squared are like terms. 5 minus 2 is 3, so it's 3f squared. And then we've got the like terms negative 3f and positive 7f. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. I've bumped a button as I have several times. Negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4. And we write f next to it. 